We're about to go on the air here on CKCU, and but don't stop talking. I mean, I was, uh, we like to hear a dull roar, don't we? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we love to have a dull roar. We like to have <laughs> here the, on a Saturday morning. The ambient sound and, uh, of the room. We're just waiting for a signal from Carol that we're actually going to be on the air. But meanwhile, I'll just talk away a little bit. Hey, Anne Marie, how's it going? <laughs> It's so nice to see you, Chris. Ha happy Saturday. <laughs> yes, bright and early. Yeah. And uh, Nick, do we have Anne-Marie here in the, in the mix as well? Hello. Okay, so testing, testing. hey, everybody. Look Good at morning. this on a Saturday morning. Good this morning, This is our idea everyone. of fun. This is good. Thank you. That's we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We're at Irene's Pub and everybody, come on down. It's 885 Bank Street in the Glebe in Ottawa. I I'm Chris White. I 886. Or 886 anyway, or 5. Anyway, you'll find us. Anyway, you'll, when you get close, <laughs> you'll hear the sound of fiddles playing That's or right. guitars, pianos. Yes. It's Canadian Spaces right here on CKCU. I am Chris White, and you are Anne-Marie Brueger. Hey, I'm Anne Marie. Anne Marie Brueger. I'm glad yeah. to be here with you, Chris. You really worked hard on this. Lineup is amazing. <laughs> like, wow, it's going to be back to back to back. We need to be yeah. super organized. Yeah, yeah, and we are. We are. And it's going to be lots and lots of live music and some conversations. We have tons. Uh, let's say, hey, let's talk about who's going to be on the show today. Who's going to be on the show? We're kicking things off with the Bytown Fiddlers. Yay. <laughs> yes, they're that, looking it's, good. It's pretty special. There's pretty some special. Canterbury High School students that are going to be entertaining us here at Irene's. And then we will hear from Sean Tavernier. Yeah. Tyler Keeley. Oh, yeah, and Tyler. We'll be hearing from Tyler yeah. Keeley, the amazing. Megan yeah. Jerome. Yeah. Jessica Pearson in the East Wind yeah. with Malaya Rogers or yeah. Malia, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Pat Moore, always like to hear from Pat Moore has the greatest voice, don't you find? <laughs> she has a beautiful radio voice and a singing. great singing voice. Yeah. Mora Valente, which yeah, I don't Mora know. Yeah, Mora is here okay. at Irene. <laughs> oh, is She's got Mora? an okay. exciting music experience lined up for people to sign up for. Wonderful. And we're ending things with Angela Saini. Yeah. From who Toronto, isn't happens she? to be in town this and weekend performing. Town. Yeah, so okay. we invited her along. Okay, yeah. so that's a fantastic lineup. And hey, everybody, come down to Irene's. The yeah. breakfast will be served soon, yep. and beverages as well. Hot and cold brown drinks, bacon and eggs, yeah, and brown it, it's drinks. It's all here. And <laughs> as you know, if you're a longtime space cadet, Irene's was Chopper's hangout for ah. years. After year, so after it all year. makes sense. And that so we're it, here. it does make sense yeah. to be here. His name is carved into a table somewhere. Okay, so let us yes, let us acknowledge and be mindful that we are on Algonquin land. This yes. is Algonquin land, and every day I think about that and try to figure out how to make that more meaningful myself. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If you were in somebody's house, how would you treat the house? <laughs> So that's the way I think about it. This is Algonquin land. Like it's never been ceded. It's never that's been right. it's unceded, as we say. Let us be so respectful of this. Yeah, yeah, let's act respectfully, as I know we will, as we proceed here with Canadian Space. So let's have another cheer. Come on, for it. <laughs> Welcome to CKCU FM 93.1 here in Ottawa. If you are tuned in, on your radio, we're happy that you're with us. If you're tuned in online, you might be tuned in online at ckcufm.com. Mm -hmm. You might be listening from anywhere in the world. Do we have our interactive uh, page working We today? do. So if you go to ckcufm.com and click on Canadian Spaces or just click on something that says Playlist, you can... Type in something that yeah, we'll tell see us here. where you're listening from, and we love to talk back. Mm -hmm. We'll <laughs> respond. We will Perhaps respond. We will. Okay, so we do have these fiddlers. Let's get maybe um, who's going to tell us a little bit about this group. Is, is that going to be you, yeah. Nadia? Yeah. Okay, so uh, would you approach a mic and well, tell us about the By Town with an E fiddlers? Uh, well. By Town Fiddlers, we go to Canterbury High School. We're at grade 11 and 10 students, and we play fiddle tunes of all sorts. We play Appalachian-style fiddle tunes. We play sometimes Irish fiddle tunes. We play klezmer tunes, and we sometimes play klezmer tunes that aren't, don't have an alignment. And, yeah, we go around town. We usually play at some farmer's markets and sometimes other places like Happy Goat Coffee Shop. 
and this is our first time being on a real stage like this, so we're pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> See, we met you guys because you came in to Nathaniel Newton's Monday Special Blend Show on CKCU a few weeks ago and knocked everybody out. So we said, come back to Irene's, and here you are. And Nadia, why is it that there are so many Canterbury students that are playing this kind of music? Did somebody start a club or something? Uh, well, yeah, Canterbury High School, it's an art school, so we have a strings program, so there's all sorts of students that come in that play violin, cello, viola, and bass. And I started a club called Fiddle Club and made all my friends join. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yep, and these two others with me liked it the most, so we started doing it outside of school. Uh, and wh why don't you introduce your partners? Yeah, my partners, we've got Safa Young on the fiddle with me. Right. <laughs> and yeah, we've got Torin Gold on the cello. Yeah. Okay, what have we got for us? You're going to play a couple of numbers here, right? Yeah, we're going to play three tunes for you. We're going to play Hunt the Buffalo and Buffalo Gals, um, one after the other. And then take a quick break to adjust the mic, and I'll be playing banjo, and we'll be playing Cluck Old Hen. <laughs> okay, let's hear it for the Bytown Town Fiddlers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Those are the Bytown Fiddlers. And for people listening, wherever, if you're not at Irene's, we're having a few little technical issues with static and so on. But hang in there. We're going to solve this. And meanwhile, we're watching <laughs> a, a change over here so that we can hear some claw hammer banjo. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, let's hear it again for these Bytown Fiddlers for showing up here, <laughs> doing such a wonderful job. So Nadia, you have your banjo on your knee. <laughs> and here we go. What is it again you're going to play? It's Cluck Old Hen. Is that the one? OK, here we go. Tom Fillers, yeah, yeah, way to go, everybody. I, uh, that's amazing. I, so I think today we're going to learn that the music is uh, amazing for uh, people of all ages, right? Yeah. So I think we have a pretty diverse lineup today, and uh, starting with these high school uh, <laughs> musicians here, absolutely impressive. I love a banjo, I gotta say. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. We have a diverse lineup in the audience here at Irene's Pub yes. as well. So uh, people of all ages yep. and uh, musical persuasion. So here we're going to get ask Tyler Keeley to come up here. Yeah. Tyler was probably up late last night playing the piano somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and he, did you just stay up? Oh, putting kids putting to bed. Putting kids to okay. bed. Oh, that's and, uh, but Tyler, Tyler, you're a star, and uh, we're so happy that you're here. <laughs> you're part of a show oh that's coming gosh. up. <laughs> you are. Uh, a show coming up Tuesday, April 9th at, uh, where's that show? It's here, where? I think. Eh? Fourth oh, the fourth at the stage. NAC fourth stage. Coming up on Tuesday evening, April yeah. the 9th. Right, Tyler? That's correct, yeah. With uh, Megan Jerome, Pat Moore, Sean Tavnier, and, uh, and we've got some... Awesome and you, backing. Tyler Keeley. And, and I'll be there too. Yeah, I'll show yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's called a great night out. And so I guess we're getting a preview of a great night out with this great morning out. Because yeah. many of you are going to be here today on, on CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa. So great. What are you going to play for us, Tyler? I wasn't sure. I, I actually, uh, you know, I'm, I, I am just, I'm, I'm just warming up and even listening to uh, the Bytan Fiddlers. And it's like, I think I want to play something that maybe uh, could use the Bytown Fiddlers on someday uh -huh. if we get to recording. Uh -huh. This is uh, like it. I'll play something about um, about the first um, the the first wedding I went to post pandemic. My cousin William Keeley, and uh, 
it was just really beautiful to be back connected with some of my family that I hadn't seen in a long time. Nice. So I wrote this just about the experience of coming uh, to see all these people. And uh, it, the song just starts out with me wondering what I'm going to wear to Willie's wedding, <laughs> which is too many W's not to pass up. So, uh, and there's some a role for some fiddle players in there. I think there could be. Sometime in the future, and, and right? Sure, right? Yeah. Well, you guys listen and tell me what you think. I don't know. Right. Are we ready? Or? Yo, yeah. Tyler Keeley at Tyler CKCU. Keeley. All right, let's try this. Um, this is called Willie's Wedding. All right. One, two, three, four, now. What'll I wear to Willie's Wedding? What'll I wear to Willie's Wedding? Trying on clothes I know don't fit me anymore. Jacket and pants, shirt and tie, surely I will be sweating. What'll I wear to Willie's wedding? What'll I wear when I get there? Who will I see at Willie's wedding? Who will I see at Willie's wedding? All the long lost souls I haven't seen in quite a while. Distant relatives with kids whose names I'm forgetting. Who will be there at Willie's wedding? Who will I see when I get there? The bride is beautiful. Charlotte is her name. The weather is impeccable, not a hint of rain. Toast this lovely couple and raise a glass of champagne. What a life's little rituals that make you fall in love with love again. What will we do at Willie's wedding? What will we do at Willie's wedding? All my social skills are still in COVID recovery. Laughing and drinking and singing long after the sun is setting. What'll we do at Willie's wedding? What'll we do when we get there? The bride is beautiful. Charlotte is her name. The weather is impeccable. Raise a glass of champagne. Oh, toast this lovely couple. Make you fall in love with love again Willie really said I will He laughed, his name was in the vow Charlotte said I will as well And they were married then and there with a ring upon a finger and a kiss as they were showered with the petals from the flowers that they threw into the air. tongue-tied words are out of reach cause family is a gift that only together we are getting that's what I thought of Willie's wedding that's what I did at Willie's wedding that's what I saw at Willie's wedding that's what I wore at Willie's wedding and we'll see you there Wedding. Maybe some strings and some cello at some point. That's, 
Wow. That's pretty good playing from Tyler wow. Keeley, well, who's just getting warmed up. He's just getting yeah. warmed up. That's head. amazing. That's pretty good for uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, thanks. Uh, so there, was, there was one coffee involved, so I'm oh, yeah. closer to do wake. That's amazing. Thank so uh, tell us a little more about yourself, Tyler. I mean, uh, yeah. I've been playing around town since I was 13, 12 yeah. or 13. Um, went to Holy Trinity High School, and uh, along with Mr. Sean Tavernier, nice. who's in the audience here, the two of us have been pals and played a lot over the years, blues fest and uh, some some um, educate music educational stuff nice. that we've done together. Um, and yeah, I've just been uh, doing my own songwriting uh, over the years here in Ottawa, and also playing a doing piano show for the last um, right. last uh, twenty two years with Dave, Dave Kalu. That's right. Yeah. 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 And Todd Huckabone on guitar. And uh, I also occasionally tour with Charlie Major and uh, out out in Western Canada, uh, playing keys with him, and um, and most importantly, being a, a dad to two awesome kids. Nice. So yes. That's that's Tyler Keeley wrapped up there. Right on. Yeah. Right yeah. On. So check him out online, everybody. That's yeah. Keeley with thank an you. EY, isn't it? Tyler? Ah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's Keely. right. Are you gonna play another tune for us? Do you want another tune? Should I do? Uh, yeah. I don't do we? Know. Do we? Yeah. Do we? <laughs> There is a, an awesome group of people out here, by the way, supporting each other and lots of familiar faces. So uh, it's, it's comfy and cozy, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, all right. Very happy thank you're here. You. All right, Tyler all right, let's Keeley, see. everyone, on CKCU FM. It's, uh, my son just turned 11 uh, two days ago, and this song is about him, so maybe I'll do this one for, for Julian Keeley, whose uh, soccer birthday party is today. So This is called Look at Me Now. A whistling wind Singing me brand new changes I've seen a lot But I've never seen anything Quite like this before Look at me now I was listening and I can't tell you I don't know how I can't believe this is the moment I've been around But I've never seen anything quite like I looked at you, I said, hello, Julian. I looked at you, I said, something new has begun. I looked at you, I said, hello, Julian. Look at me now, standing on the highest mountains. Don't let me down, stepping on a street. I've seen a lot, but I've never seen anything quite like this before. Gotta know I'm alive, but I've never felt anything quite like this before. I looked at you, I said, hello, Julian. I looked at you, I said, something new. Begun. I looked at you, said hello, Julia. Look at the night, turn the day, every present moment changes a brand new face. I'm redefined, looking, looking at me now. Look at the day, turn the night, tiny eyes adjust to the light as we adjust. From the life we left behind when we went out the door that morning. Well, I was waking up and I could hear you saying something on the phone. We are still debating going to the hospital. 
Now we're driving down the road, seconds I was saving. I ran a red light, pain that you were braving for a brand new miracle. We walk from the parking lot. Here we come, ready or not. Cause I got a patient with me now, and patience I'm losing. They're whisking you away down the all you're cruising, I'm fumbling behind. But now it's up to you and no one else can do this. I'm holding on to you while you're going through this. It's all going through my mind. Cut the cord, cry out loud. Wipe a tear and then look down. And look at me now. Holding a tiny version of me in my hands Until this you is hard to understand I've seen a lot, but I've never seen anything quite like this Oh, look at me now Look at me now Hey, look at me now Thank you so much. Great program. Thanks Thank for your you support. very much. Tyler Keeley, everyone. That is absolutely astonishing. That was really great. <laughs> Tyler Keeley, thank you. And if you, if you liked what you heard, you'll be able to uh, see Tyler along with uh, Sean Tavernier, Megan Jerome, uh, Pat McLaughlin, Dave Schroeder, Pat Moore. Uh, at on April 9 at the NEC fourth stage. So uh, thanks very much, Tyler. That was great. And uh, thank you to our listeners who are leaving us uh, comments on, on the interactive playlist at ckcufm.com. Uh, and I think we had a couple of little technical difficulties at the beginning, but it's looking like uh, it's working well now. So thank you, uh, Gabriella, Tim, Mike, uh, Roder, Rody Rick, and uh, Heather Lynn for for commenting on the playlist, and now you've heard your name on the radio. So how <laughs> great is that, right? <laughs> if you want to hear your name on the radio, <laughs> go to ckcufm.com, click on Canadian Spaces, and leave us a comment. And you'll probably be commenting about this next mm -hmm. performer here, Sean Tavernier. I learned how to pronounce that name over the years. <laughs> right? What are people going to say? Why you let this guy on the radio? <laughs> And you have hosted shows on CKCU before. Sean. Love CKCU. You I love, love CKCU on a Saturday morning. And you love spinning vinyl, don't you? I sure do. Yeah. Right. Almost every day. Yeah. And you play and sing around town probably more than anybody else I know. Maybe a little too that much. Could be. So, Sean. I was oversaturated with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of that big show that's coming up on April 9th, Tuesday. It's a wonderful show. Yeah. I think this is, the, is this the third or fourth time we've done it. I think it's three, right. but uh, it came. We came up th with the idea. We fourth. Pat says fourth. We uh, we were all kind of thrust together for a, a show that the Jazz Fest put on called uh, Jazz Meets Folk, oh. and we played oh. a show together. And we had such a good time that uh, we decided to do it again, and then again, and then again, and then again, <laughs> and now again. <laughs> so come on out and see uh, see us tell stories, songwriters and storytellers. Singing songs about stories and telling stories about songs. Sounds like that a makes great. Sense. Sounds like a, a great night out. Put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> All right, Sean Tavernier, everyone, on uh, CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa. I'll tell a short story about this one. This is a song about taking risks and making big moves and. Um, Everybody, when they pick up a guitar for the first time, I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people imagine that they're going to uh, achieve fame and fortune. And maybe go to New York City, maybe go to California, one of these big places, and make big moves. Uh, I certainly felt that way, but uh, as Tyler mentioned, we've been doing it for a long time, and we've been doing it for a long time together. And so when uh, the... the the wave of fame and fortune crests and recedes. It sure does feel good to just still be doing it. This one's called Everyone I Know Has Gone to Nashville.
which of course is hyperbole. When I wrote this song, there were only a few people that I knew in Nashville. Everybody's working on the dream To catch a tiger by the tail Is there another chance for you and me? I think you're never too old to tell So baby, let's put up and get moving Where it all sounds like everything and nothing We can make a cool, hard, quick farewell Tell me some hard news Just give me the goods And send me the bill So I guess we'll just head south Until we hit the better weather The road from here to someplace else Is just another crooked line We'll trade our money for some denim And some boots of smooth Blues can get you if you don't let them I think we're gonna make it out this time You can find the keys to my old front door Sitting by the window sill Let you start at the finish line. If you use a hammer to dust your wine glass, but then you never get to taste the wine. Oh, so lend me some luck. Help me work up the nerve to go swallow the. You guys want to do some early morning singing? Actually, let me take that back. For most of you, this is probably not an early morning. This feels like an early one to me for some reason. Let's try it. You know it. It's just everyone I know has gone to Nashville. Let's do it together. I 
I know has gone to Nashville. Everyone I know has gone to Nashville. Everyone I know has gone to Nashville. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. It is nearly the fourth anniversary of the moment that I came up with this next song. It was, um, of course, the, the second or third week of the first and probably most frightening lockdown that we went through. And uh, like everyone else, I was dealing with some heavy feelings about that suddenly no longer having a job and uh, also learning to live with um, my girlfriend who had moved in just literally one month before the pandemic hit so we were trying to figure out how to live together and then suddenly we weren't allowed to leave just in a two-bedroom apartment. But it went really well. And we're getting married in June, this June. Actually, for a moment there, I forgot the lyrics to that last song because I saw the poster on the wall and there's a band playing here tonight. They're called The Wind Up and they're the band that's playing at my wedding and tonight's their first gig. <laughs> that's pretty exciting. Um, but uh, we were learning how to live together and um, you know, figuring out the little... Uh, little deep, little nitty gritty parts of um, being together and stuck in the apartment together and um, and then suddenly uh, John Prine died and I wasn't ready for that I was I guess it would, that was the thing that brought all of the my pandemic emotions to the forefront and um, I came up with the first verse of this song I've never worked longer on a simpler song um, the first verse is about John Prine and the second verse is about my fiance. I like to call her my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> she, she didn't think it was a very funny joke at first, but she's come around. Uh, so the second verse is about learning how to live with Emily, and I suppose more importantly, her learning how to live with me. And then the third verse is about writing songs, and this song is called One More Song at the End of the World. kind of in the style of John Prine, my tribute to John Prine. Well, the night John died, there was a big full moon. Twenty years too late, about ten too soon. Then I sat down with a beer in my kitchen and cried. Thinking all about how I miss all of my friends Thinking about beauty and the way that it ends With a little hard news and one last lullaby Here we've come to the end of the road If you love somebody now, you'd best let them know One more song at the end of the world Pack it up, let it all unfurl, and just let it go. Well, the girl I love, she chews her chips too loud. She sheds like a collie, leaves the toilet seat down. But she loves me, even though I do the dishes all wrong. Well, you can't have love without a couple of laughs And take those two laughs and cut them both in half And that's the kind of love you can find in a John Prine song Here we've come to the end of the road If you love somebody now, you best let them know One more song 
at the end of the world Pack it up, let it all unfurl Then just let it go Sometimes all I need is just a simple tune To tag along behind me Then before too soon That pesky old song It gets a hold of me Take a couple of rhymes A handful of words Stick them all together And then rest assured You can make the whole world A paradise melody Here we've come If you love somebody now, you'd best let them know One more song at the end of the world Pack it up, let it all unfurl, and just let it go Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's just one more little song Here at the end of the world Thank you very much Thanks so much to CKCU for doing all these wonderful things all the time. All the time, literally all the time in our community and for supporting Ottawa music. It really, truly means a lot to me. Thank you, Sean Tavernier. Let's hear it one more time for Sean. I like that. She leaves the toilet seat down. <laughs> Come on, that's a good line. I love it. <laughs> uh, so you are tuned in to uh, CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa or online at ckcufm.com. But you can also watch us, right? Today we're broadcasting live from Irene's. Is that true? So if you're in the Nathaniel? room, you can see us, and uh, which is unusual for us radio people we usually like to hide in the studio where no one can see us so uh, we we got dressed up today chris and i and uh, we'll hopefully look uh, look better in our usual radio faces um nathaniel uh, thank you very much nathaniel for helping us do all this and are you going to post a link on the interactive uh, playlist or is there a link to youtube or no we're not doing youtube this time we're oh we're not Oh. 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 Oh, I see. We will do a video okay, later. So video you cannot watch later. us today live unless you're here having breakfast at Irene's at 886, I think. Thanks, Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. It would be fantastic to see you. Come on down. The room is almost full, and there's room for you. Come on down to Irene's and catch some of this live in person. Yeah. Musical. Yeah. Fun. It's so fun. We love being out in the community. I think this is, uh, it's, you, you, the community has always been very supportive of uh, KCU. And uh, we, we're just giving back by being out here. A huge big thank you to Mike Esterbrooks and everybody here at Irene's for yes. making us so welcome and for keeping the piano in tune Yeah. for that our next good. performer right here, Megan Jerome. Hey. Megan Hi. Megan, how are you this morning? I'm great. <laughs> I, this feels weird talking to you like... <laughs> I'm great, thanks. Chris, how are you behind me? See, the way the mics are set up, uh, Megan has to have her back to us yeah. while we're chatting. It's, it's too rude. Okay. Your glasses in the back of your head. I can't there, do there it. I can't there do it. There we go. There we go. I'm great. What a what an amazing morning. Those fiddlers. Oh, my God. Yeah. You guys are us. fierce. <laughs> All I kept thinking of is fierce when I saw them, you know? Like, that's a fierce, it's beautiful and fierce. And Sean, amazing. Tyler, amazing. And you're about to hear Pat also. And all of, you're also, Megan, in that show we're talking about, April 9th at the NAC Four Stage. You're part of it too, right? I am. I am. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about that particular show that appeals to you so much that you participate multiple times? Well, <clears throat> the people mean everything, Pat, Sean, Tyler, because um, they create the vibe. But the, that songwriter in the round kind of concert is like the most beautiful thing. I love it so much. I so love, you know, there's four of you on the stage and you each take a turn and you play your song and you tell a story and like... It can be a little lonely life being a songwriter. You spend a lot of time <laughs> on the couch writing about your feelings, you know? And so then you get to like, 
oh yeah, I feel that too. Oh yeah, me too. You know, like when you're in high school, it um, it's so beautiful because you're doing this in the hallways or you're doing this at lunch and you see each other all the time, you know. And then when you get sort of in living in your own house. You can stay in your own house <laughs> a lot and a lot. think about those feelings a lot. <laughs> all right, so you'll all be out of the house on Tuesday, April 9th. And, and meanwhile, you're we here now, Megan's Rome, and I think Anne Marie had one question about what you're doing around town these days. Because I know, were you teaching at Carlton? I know you. Uh, you're yeah, a, product a little of bit, that a little music bit. Program. Yeah. At home, though, is oh. I, I teach piano lessons at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what I do. Yeah. Lucky me. All right. Well, what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play two songs. One is called Dancers, and I'm going to teach you the chorus so that you can <laughs> sing along. Um, and the other is called Homebrew. Uh, and maybe I'll tell you about Homebrew before I play Homebrew. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Uh, we're, we're leaving it to you, Megan. And, and Megan Jerome, everyone, at CKCU 93.1 FM. Thank you. Okay. So... Um, say a public service announcement right now about being 50, nearly 50 and a woman, you have new fears at 50. Like, what if I forget what music sounds like? And what if I forget what the words are? And those were keeping me up at night. So I wrote out the words and that's why you see me here with my music. So I'm quelling my fear, one fear at a time. Um, so you won't forget the words. So you know, d the words of the chorus of this song are, here I have to do this so I can face you again. Um, Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway. Dancers that swoon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. So part of the word swoon, we, we saw Joel Plaskett uh, in concert, and he has this amazing song about G Sault Ste. Marie and under the stars you swagger and swoon, and it's just this gorgeous song, and I wanted that song to be mine so badly. <laughs> um, and then, um, and so uh, in this song, in Swoon, you know, you have a real opportunity as a crowd singer to like, swoon, we can really go for it together, I hope. Um, okay, so here we go. First it's rubato and then it'll be in time and you're gonna get it. And the rest of the song is all like, um, kind of walking up to a campfire outside of a barn dance and just how gorgeous it is to get to get sweaty and dance with people, maybe at a wedding or something, Tyler. Dancers, so here we go, we go dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Okay, let's sing that together. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Like a crowd of experts. Woo! Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. You don't even need to repeat that. And then here's the big line. Dancers that sway, dancers that swoon. That's it, let's do that line again. Dancers that sway, dancers that swoon. Yeah, and you can choose swoon. Like maybe you stay high on the swoon or swoon. Maybe you're falling, you're swooning so badly. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon Dance for the pleasure, dance for the pain Dance for the music that pulses your veins The flame, the dirt, the flare of your skirt Dance for the loving and dance for the hurt Dancers that sway by the light of the moon Dancers that sway by the light of the moon Dancers that sway, dancers that swoon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. <clears throat> I love clothes, the twist of your slip, the fit of your dress, the silk of your skin and your lover's caress. You tremble and clutch, and oh, it's too much. You thrill with the feeling of wanting to touch. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway. Dancers that swoon. Gorgeous. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, the blouses you smooth and the trousers you press. The heartaches you soothe, all this glorious mess. 
The tears, the burns, the creases you've earned. The dancers, they turn and they turn and they turn. The dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. Dancers that sway, dancers that swoon. It's the last one. Swoon, swoon, swoon. Dancers that sway by the light of the moon. That was so beautiful. <laughs> ah, goodbye, word. Okay, that was my favorite thing. The next, the next song, Chris, I think you're going to, where is Chris? Um, you're going to like this. It's uh, a songwriting exercise. The, I was taking this online songwriting course, and one of the tasks was to write a song from a title, and the title was Homebrew. And I thought, oh, um, like, have you ever done a, ta a song task like that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Home, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I purposely <laughs> chose homebrew because um, uh, it's like unlike anything I would ever write about or even do, actually. We don't even make our own beer. But I, so I turned it into a song. And first, it was going to be an anthem about this couple that lost all their money, soaking it into homebrew. But... But in the end, I made it about, um, it's a love song. And, and you know, in when push comes to shove, like now you guys, I'm so excited that you guys are getting married. Um, Mike and I have been married for 22 or 23 years. And yeah, right? And, uh, and so this song is all about, I turned it into the kind of love that we have in our home and what we are brewing together because... You go through a lot, and when it comes down to it, being able to love somebody is a very lucky, the biggest, luckiest gift. So, Lammy, I love you. There's my Sudri. <laughs> so, homebrew, what we make at home. Honey sweet and moonshine clear All the world is all right here Homemade wine and homemade beer My chandelier, my shining light is you. You're beautiful, you're bountiful, you're dutiful and plentiful, you're fanciful, my dancing fool. I am so in love with you. Oh. 
Thank you very much. Woo. Thank you. That's Megan Jerome, everybody, with that beautiful song. Beautiful, beautiful song. Right here on Canadian Spaces on CKCU. And thanks again for your comments, everybody. And thanks for everyone that's here at Irene's. You're making this a very special occasion mm. for sure. You know, right the one thing that we cannot live broadcast is the smell of delicious breakfast <laughs> cooking, actually. It's making me hungry. Well, somebody tried apparently at one point to create smell of vision oh, yeah. at one point. Yeah. <laughs> that, that has been attempted and has not been successful not so far. Smell of vision. So far. But come down to Irene's and, yeah, catch the magnificent odors here. I love the, the uh, all everyone chatting in the background. I think it's amazing. Yeah. You know what? We should read a few concert announcements while yes. Jessica Pearson and the East Wind are getting set up here. For example, this afternoon, right here at Irene's, everybody, just stick around at 1 o'clock, CA and Sunny will be doing their weekly Saturday afternoon show. No cover here at Irene's. It is a fantastic yeah. show, for sure. It starts at 1 o'clock every Saturday at Irene's Pub, where we are right now. And if you haven't heard uh, CA and Sunny, you really want to see, it, see them at least once in your life. It's oh, really, yeah, yeah. really uh, different uh, and fun. Old, old ragtime yeah. uh, tunes. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, I have another that. one here. This is for, for later on in the month, Friday, April 19. We, uh, you can join Christine Greaves as she hosts uh, Stephen Palmer and Phil Jenkins for a special evening of Lucky Songs. This happens at Meow That's Hot at 519 Bank Street. And tickets are 20 bucks at the door or on Eventbrite. I would buy tickets ahead of time. For Meow is a pretty small, intimate uh, location. So that should be a really fun night, actually. One and more yeah. Yeah, one more thing I'd like to mention is it also happening this afternoon, and it's kind of a specialized thing, but if I'm thinking if even one person hears this and signs up and goes, they'll be so happy they did because it's Colin Linden yeah. is giving a guitar workshop this afternoon at 2 o'clock at Dominion Chalmers Center. That's pretty special. Downtown in Ottawa. Oh, That's wow. amazing, right? Hello. So an hour and a half to sit with Colin Linden as he shows and plays and talks about his amazing career. So um, you can sign up through the Redbird website. It's actually held at Dominion Chalmers, though. And if you go, I'll see you there because I'm not missing this. A chance <laughs> to spend some time yeah. with Colin Linden. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's really special. Yeah. Uh, so you are all tuned in to CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa. And we're live broadcasting at Irene's. And uh, we now have our next guests. Uh, let me tell you about the, uh, the Ottawa Grassroots Festival. This year is the 12th annual, 12 yeah, years already for the on, Ottawa Grassroots Festival. Yeah, come on, that's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it, it's taking place the weekend of April 25, so Thursday, April 25 to Sunday, April 28. It's always really special. There are many headliners. Uh, uh, we'll have Lynn Miles will be headlining on Thursday, April 25. Charlie Acourt and Rory Talon uh, are also will be in on Friday, April 26. And at April 27, Connie Caldor will be performing with our next guests here, um, Jessica Pearson and the East Wing Wind. Um, let me see what else. Uh, this it's happening at the first Unitarian building and uh, some parts of it here at Irene. So, so I, I would recommend that you check out the website, ottawagrassrootsfestival.com. And today we have Jessica Pearson and Malia. Malia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Malia. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Um, that's a mandolin, isn't this it? This is a mandolin. Oh, and yeah. Jessica, yeah. you have a guitar. Classic guitar over here. You <laughs> I'm a I, basic girl, <laughs> you know? Well, you and I met quite a while ago, and you've been a guest over at the radio station. Oh, you've yeah. You've been a guest on Zoom to Facebook, things like that, yes. right? Yes. Oh, you, yeah. You've, uh, our paths have 
crossed many times and it's always fantastic. And this is not your first time playing at the Grassroots Festival either. No, right? this will be our first time playing. Well, it, this will be our third time at the Grassroots Festival. Yeah. First one, we were one of the free day shows, which is what's so amazing. Uh, the second time was during COVID, so online. Um, which again was just great to be able to do some form of, of music during that time mm -hmm. and uh, now very excited to be sharing the main stage with Connie like wow you know, know wow right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so very excited great. Awesome. So uh, what are you playing for us today, ladies? Uh, we got a song off uh, the album On the Line, and then we have a brand new song that Malia and I actually wrote a few months ago. Amazing. All right. You <laughs> yeah. heard it here first, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Pearson, everybody, uh, with right. Malia Rogers. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, this song is... Kind of, it was inspired by really the term of outlaw. You know, I feel like when we think of outlaws, we think of like the old cowboy country, western kind of style. And I feel like now being a, uh, uh, an outlaw in this day and age is really just being true to who you are and loving who you are and not letting anyone tell you otherwise, uh, which I think we all have a little bit of outlaw in us. Chase me to the mountains and out across the sea I'm headed to the edge of the earth where the water falls to the deep. Ooh, you will never find me. Chase me to the valley, the rivers and rocky streams. I pulled this trigger once before, shot my man to be free. Won't let him cheat. I'm a runaway soul with the bounty on my head. I'm a runaway soul, and I'll never find rest. I made my bed with a pistol in his memory. What I did is my burden to carry chase me to the desert under a burning sky oh bless are my feet to stepping with the devil so he let me walk by Ooh, don't pay me for my crime
Thank you so much. Uh, we're doing a bit of an instrument switch up because uh, this is actually our, my first time ever playing a show with Malia Rogers. So give it up for Malia Rogers, everyone. Thanks, folks. <laughs> uh, she's an amazing artist on herself and writes amazing songs. And the first time I met her and listened to her songs, I was like, uh, yeah, we need to write together because this is fantastic. And so we had our first writing session a few months ago. And I think one of my favorite things about now writing with Malia is that there's always bread to be kneaded in the middle of our co-writes, which is amazing. Like kneaded like with hands. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, oh yeah, bread also kneaded <laughs> as in to eat. Always but, <laughs> but it's so fun because she's always baking some form of lovely, amazing smelling bread when we have our co-writes. So basically we start writing and we talk and we get vulnerable with each other. And then we're like, okay, now we have to go and knead the bread. And so we go downstairs and we're still talking and kneading bread. And I'm like, this is how every co-write should happen in my life. I just feel so in love right now. And so this one specific co-write, we were kneading this bread and I was like, we need to write a song about bread. Like, I feel like this is what this is. And we ended up not writing a song about bread. <laughs> But it was like bread is like bread is home, bread is welcoming, bread is like a gift and an offering. Right? Exactly. It, like, it was like bread song, and then it turned into so much. And more. then it turned into that space of, you know, when you think of like smelling homemade bread, when you think of smelling that and walking into like a warm kitchen, and just for both of us, it's just such a inviting space, mm -hmm. and it's a very homey feeling when we smell that when we're in that space, and so. Uh, this song is really just about welcoming you all into our kitchen and just knowing that no matter who we are, whether we've met before, whether we haven't, uh, welcome home. off your coat I know you've been hungry I know it's been cold go and warm those bones I'll put the kettle on the stove you have a face I don't recognize but I see hardship in those eyes though we are strangers still let me welcome you home Give what you can and take what you need Open the door and feel the you can and take what you need 
Thank you so much for having us, Thank Malia you. Rogers. I'm Jessica Pearson, and the, we're the East Wind. <laughs> it's true, they are, and you can catch them at the Ottawa Grassroots Festival on Saturday evening, April 27th. Is that the right date? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. At the Unitarian Congregation Building out near Woodruff. That's one of the venues for the Grassroots Festival this year. And it yeah. is an amazing event. As Jessica was saying, all daytime activities are free at the Ottawa Grassroots Festival, and they always have been. That's right. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that a fantastic thing? Because it's thing? for everyone. It's for and families. I think Christine St. Pierre is going to be leading uh, an, an event for kids, right, at the uh, Grassroots Festival as well for all <laughs> yeah, the children. And, hey, and she's on, here with Come on up, Christine. Children. Come on up and tell us a she's, little bit about that. She's trying to eat her I know you're eating yeah. breakfast, <laughs> but just come up because... This is Come a really fun up. thing that Christine St. Pierre will be doing at the Grassroots Festival as one of the many offerings. So here you go. Let, hey, this is Christine St. Pierre, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You didn't bring any guitar. No, you no, just, no, no. You just came to see the show today. But tell us about that cool session you're doing at the Grassroots Festival. Um, yes. So it's a it's a session for kids, and I've I've done it a number of years in in the past, and it's always been uh, really fun with different instruments. And um, during the pandemic, we did it online in a virtual kind of thing. But this year will be uh, a little bit different because it's going to be myself with my two kids, and we're doing creating a whole show. Together. With, uh, you know, different scenes and music and, and different <laughs> kind of a big storylines. So we've been working really, really hard at creating different um, crafts and things like that. And so those we're kids really are excited. here today, aren't they? Yes, they're, they are. They're here today. And yeah. isn't that exciting? They're joining you to lead yeah, that Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And I think they are too. So we'll see. <laughs> That's good, you guys. I remember you guys being very young coming mm -hmm. into the station over there at CKCU. Yes. While you, Christine, were performing, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything? You were at a turning point just the other night, right? Yes. With Angela saying yes. who's here today and to we'll perform on the show. <coughs> yeah. How and did that go, though? Oh, that was, uh, that, that was wonderful. It was really wonderful, and it was a very intimate, uh, intimate setting. And uh, thank you so much to everybody that, that came and supported, and also the... Um, CKCU for, for supporting and playing our, our songs and uh, talking about the event, so thank you. Yeah, okay, upstairs at the turning point that was, and I understand they're going to do more shows there. That's the concept, right? Yes. Okay, so that's good news. So just before Pat Moore provides a couple of numbers for us here on Canadian Spaces, we'd like to ask Marilyn Stratton Zimmer, are you around? Yeah, please come up. And first of all, let's give Marilyn a big hand for the, the best, best attire, the best attire. You're looking magnificent here. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Stratton Zimmer, we go way, way back to those days at Rasputin's on we Bronson. We do indeed, and Way yes. back then. So now you're involved with the spirit of Rasputin's. You're doing the programming these days, um, you, No, I'm just one of a board of volunteers of dedicated people who want to promote live music in Ottawa, particularly folk, folk and other kinds of music. And I'm here to uh, tell people about a wonderful concert that's happening at the uh, Masonic Hall in Westboro uh, at the corner of... Uh, Byron and Churchill, yeah. um, one week from today at 8 o'clock, and it's a double bill. It's wonderful, incredible musicians. We have the duo of Acacia Lira, and I think they put about five albums out. Uh, they're comprised of... Yeah, two harps. <laughs> yes, two Celtic <laughs> harps. Um, Susan Sweeney Herman and Janine Dudding, uh, they make wonderful music. And not only that, they are uh, talented singer-songwriters, and uh, they also both play guitar. And I think uh, also a little bit of Irish whistle there from Susan. And uh, 
They are very experienced. Um, their music you can find on Bandcamp. They have a Facebook site. And the other wonderful group playing with them is uh, a local group called Tripoli. And you may have heard of a group called Fiddlehead Soup, which was Doug Hendry and Glenna Hun Hunter. And uh, Doug sings, plays citron, 12-string guitar, great harmonies. And Glenna is a cellist, violinist, and she's a vocalist. And to those two, they have added the silken vocals of Elizabeth McNally. And I've been up close listening to her singing, and it's a joy. So uh, they're, they are going to perform. And it's a wonderful collaboration that crosses boundaries, Celtic, folk, original, traditional. And uh, also, they have music on Bandcamp. We'll be selling their CDs next Saturday night. And I'm just hoping that a lot of you will come out and have a wonderful, music of li a wonderful evening of live music with us uh, next Saturday night, 8 o'clock. It's fantastic. So uh, yeah, Acacia Lira plus Tripoli in this uh, extravaganza with lots and lots of strings. In fact, they're calling yes, it strength. In Absolutely. Numbers. Strength. They in invented numbers, a see. new word: but strength in numbers. Strength. Many so, strings. And so, all the information and tickets at rasputins.org. Absolutely. That's the place to go. And you're saying, Marilyn, next Saturday at the Masonic Hall over Eight at o'clock. And uh, you can buy your tickets now, or if you can't decide until the last minute, have other obligations. We always keep a few extra tickets at the door. So I hope to see some of you there. Yeah, thank you, Marilyn Stratton Zimmer. Come on, thank that's you, Chris. excellent. Yeah, and thanks to the Spirit of Rasputin's group. They do so many things uh, now, all, all these years. Pat Moore, you've been involved with Spirit of Rasputin's in the past. I have. Yeah, I have. they do. You have <laughs> been involved in a lot of things. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just thinking back. I mean, Pat is a recipient of the Spirit of Tony Turner Award for all your work behind the scenes, Pat. And then there you are in stages with lots of different configurations. We heard about the one coming up at the Four Stage yes. on April 9th. Yeah. That's cool. A it, great night out. It's very cool. And <laughs> yeah, it, you just said the title and I'm going to repeat it because it is going to be a, a great, great night, night out. out. <laughs> and the reason why we got that title was because... And actually, Sean was the one who mentioned that, that we played first at the Jazz Fest, and that was Megan who had set that up. And we said, this was so amazing. It's, we have to do this again because it's going to be a great night out. And so... <laughs> <laughs> Hence the name. Hence the name. So, Pat Moore, just before you play a couple of <laughs> numbers here, tell us, just mention a couple of the groups that you have performed in or are still performing in <laughs> these days. Well, I have my country band, Pat Moore and the Vinyl Frontier. Yeah. And uh, a couple of bluegrass bands, Maple Hill and the Monroe Sisters. And you can catch us just down the street here a little bit every Monday night at, at uh, Bluegrass Mondays. I'm, I don't play every Monday night, but I'm there every Monday night. And uh, we do play there. Down at Redbird. Six yeah. weeks or so. Yeah, down yeah. at Redbird. And uh, what else? Uh, well, I do a lot of duo stuff with Pat McLaughlin, which is... Um, Pat and Pat plays with pretty much most of us now. <laughs> um, so Pat comes from the same hometown as Tyler. So they go way back. He and I only go back 30 years. So I don't know. I think you guys only. go back a little longer than that. <laughs> if you're if you're older than 30, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So Pat McLaughlin, um, he and I do a lot of duo stuff together, and. Yeah, and Dave Schroeder, I might as well mention, who's also going to be playing uh, at the Great Night Out, uh, plays a lot with Tyler and also has played with Sean, and he plays around town with a lot of people, and yeah, so this is going to be my first time playing with Dave, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Pat Moore, thank you for everything you do. And you've done tons of things with CKCU as well yeah. as a host and board member and all kinds of things. So come on, let's give it up for Pat Moore here. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll, 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 I'm just going to also mention that um, the one and only Ray Legere, I don't know how many of you know Ray, but Ray is... Uh, a Canadian and U.S. Grand Fiddle Champion, and he lives down in New Brunswick. He's coming through town in April, and he gave me a ring and said, 
do you want to do a house concert together? So I said, yes, of course. And uh, so we're going to do that. Um, you can talk to me later about what the date is and all that. It does conflict with something else somebody else is doing. But, uh, you know, we, you can't be everywhere. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So this first song that I'm going to do, I decided to do it for these three young women from Canterbury High School. <laughs> because it's, it's, it sort of starts off with a little bit of a high school thing. Um, I wrote this song after reading in the newspaper about a couple of guys who tried to steal an ATM machine using a backhoe. And the premise I sort of put around it was that they were pretty um, bored at school. So don't get too bored at school. You guys won't because you're going to an amazing school doing some amazing music, by the way. Yes. This is called Cash and Carry. Well, Jim and Eddie were pals from way back. They met in the first year high school. They dropped out together after only two years. Couldn't hack following the rules. Well, Jim, he got a head spin and thought to make some money real fast. He'd steal a backhoe, head down to the mall, and lift him a bucket of cash. Oh, where'd you get that crazy idea that you could figure it out? He gave you the thought that you were a genius, that dogs wouldn't bark, couldn't be seen in the dark, dragging it back to your hideout. Well, getting the backhoe was easy as pie Eddie's dad had one in the yard From 30 years of back-breaking labor A life rewarding but hard Well, they climbed on the backhoe And smashed through the chain link fence That surrounded the lot On every corner in the borough of North York An ATM, their precious jackpot Where'd you get that crazy idea that you could figure it out? It gave you the thought that you were a genius. The dogs wouldn't bark, you couldn't be seen in the dark. Dragging it back to your hideout. Eddie made his way to Fairview Mall. Jim followed behind in the truck. But the backhoe wouldn't crash the cash machine. It was beginning to look like bad luck. Well, when I saw Eddie, he was real mad. Smashed the hole right into the wall. He tried to pick up the KTM cash machine. Get away with it, concrete and all. Oh, where'd you get that crazy idea that you could figure it out? Gave you the thought that you were a genius The dogs wouldn't bark, you couldn't be seen in the dark Dragging it back to your hideout Now Jim and Eddie are doing time They're getting educated too They learned that cash and carry ain't what it seems And a backhoe's an honest man's too Where'd you get that crazy idea that you could figure it out? Gave you the thought that you were a genius. The dogs wouldn't bark, you couldn't be seen in the dark. Dragging it back to your hideout. Oh, dragging it back to your Thank you so much. So a little moral in that story. Well, I am really looking forward to April 9th and a great night out with my friends. Tyler Keeley, Megan Jerome, Sean Tavernier, Pat McLaughlin, Dave Schroeder. It's going to be fun. Yeah. 
So this next one I'm going to do for you is a title track from my album with the Vinyl Frontier. And uh, you can imagine that if you come to the show on the 9th, you're going to hear some boogie-woogie kind of piano keys from Mr. Keeley. And you're going to hear some rocking him up bass from Dave Schroeder. And you're going to hear Pat McLaughlin playing that guitar like you never heard one before. It's called Take It to Heart. It's the title track of that album. Oh, I should tell you. I wrote this song hoping, hoping that Ray Charles would record it. And I called him up and I said, Ray, I have a song for you. And then he died. But it's not my fault. <laughs> That's why he didn't record it. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Sleepless nights Take me back my darling I swear I treat you right Without your tender kisses And the magic of your touch My days and nights are dark dear Haven't I suffered enough Never left your side Should have had faith in our romance And put aside my foolish pride Oh, take it to heart Believe me when I say that the embers of a love can burn strong as yesterday. Thank you so much, everybody. And I, I'm also going to mention. Stay tuned after Canadian Spaces for my version of the Back 40. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to hear a lot of me today. 
<laughs> oh, that's right. That, yeah, you're hosting the Back 40 today. That's right on CKC. Right after this show, Canadian right Spaces. Show. Are you wow. running to the station, doing it live? Or? <laughs> it's no, already I pre-recorded it. I that's couldn't do okay. that. I couldn't be here and be Come there. Come on, so. you can be in two places. I will. Well, I've tried it, but, you know. <laughs> See everybody on April 9th, eh? Thanks. Pat Moore, everybody. Come on. That's fantastic. Way to go, Pat. What a uh, voice. Oh, my what God. What a voice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Excellent. All right, so we have, uh, should we do a couple more announcements? Or yeah, and, and, go uh, straight and into Maura Volante, feel free to come up and stand in front of a mic here at Irene's. And, but we'll just, we'll mention a few things, Anne-Marie, shall we? Just a few things. Uh, the, uh, one event, uh, Friday evening on April 5th, so this Friday, there is a professional open mic night happening uh, at uh, the Rainbow Bistro. And it is uh, for uh, the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Ottawa. So it's a fundraiser. And it will it's starring or hosted by Ted Cardi and no uh, Tara Shannon. So both excellent musicians on their own. And it uh, looks like um, mm. Carrie mm. Irving will be there. Jake Naylor will be there. So at the Rainbow on Friday, a fundraiser, a uh, really fun kind of fundraiser for the big brothers and sisters of Ottawa. So always nice. B B B S O, isn't it? Big brothers, big sisters, Ottawa. Yeah. B B B S O. <laughs> That's where you can get the information about this event. As you said, Anne Marie. Yeah. A pro open mic. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, and Kristalina uh, Paquette will be there. Obviously, she's the one who told me about this. Of oh, course. yeah. So Thanks, yeah, Kristalina, yeah, yeah. for Thank passing you. on that information. Friday yeah. evening, April 5th at right. the Rainbow. That is a worthy cause. Yeah. And uh, so you are tuned in to CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa. Thank you for listening. Thank you, everyone, who are leaving comments on our interactive uh, playlist page at ckcufm.com. <laughs> My name is Anne-Marie. I am uh, with Chris White. And uh, we are broadcasting live from Irene's. And thank you very much, Irene's, for hosting us. Yeah. And cooking up some breakfast for us. Yeah. It's so nice to see everybody. And Irene's, of course, there's live music here seven days a week or seven nights a week. Yeah, and days too. Day af week days, after week, year day, after year, yeah, right yeah, here yeah. at Irene's. So, so Chris, fantastic. I will uh, I will let you introduce uh, our Maura, next guest. Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about Maura Valente. And then, Maura, you're going to tell us about this course that you're running, singing course. So get this, though. Maura says, if you attend her courses, her singing classes on a regular basis, guess what? You will gain confidence and musical skills, including listening, pitch control, breathing, blending, and projection. Those are all good things. You will also learn how to follow along by ear, how to memorize a song, and how to choose good songs for unaccompanied singing, because that's a specialty of yours, Maura, is well, unaccompanied do. singing. Yeah. And this singing course that you're going to tell us about will focus on Canadian songs. And those are going to be work songs, logging, fishing, mining songs, right? Ballads, love songs, comical songs, all that, right? Maura Volante, tell us, how did you get into this traditional unaccompanied singing well, area? Well, I, um, I don't, I never learned how to play an instrument very well. and. Uh, traditionally, uh, folk songs are done unaccompanied, and that was very liberating for me to discover that, and I've been doing it ever since. I do work with accompanists sometimes, but for me, the ballads are really best unaccompanied because we really hear the story. So I love to sing unaccompanied, and also, you can sing anywhere, anytime, if you just <laughs> work in your, your voice. So you can sing it's in true. the woods, you can sing true. on long car trips. Like, <laughs> nothing like having some songs in your head when you're singing, when you're with a group of people in a car or by yourself and going on those long car trips. So get ready for road trip season, everyone, <laughs> and learn some Canadian folk songs. Yeah, more. Uh, I'll just mention that <laughs> our... Uh, the amazing David Francie just won his fourth Juno Award, right? And guess what? I remember him saying when he was a kid, they used to sing when they were driving in the car. That's yeah. how it all started. Yeah, those of us who are older and had cars that had nothing but the radio, which you couldn't always get where you were, yeah, we had to do it. But even now, with the cars with all the bells and whistles in them, 
You can There's still nothing sing. like the bonding experience you get with singing together, which you'll get a chance to do in a minute. <laughs> okay, Maura, I just want to mention you did record an album, a beautiful album. Yeah. It's called, called Safe, Safe and, and Sound. Sound. Yeah. And the course that I'm doing at Alcorn Music Studios is called Folk and Fine Company, and it's Monday nights, April 8th to May, uh, May 13th. So um, every Monday night for six weeks. So, yeah, go to Alcorn Studios. Alcorn Music Studios sign uh, and sign up there. Yeah. Yeah. Love and to have uh, you all there. Look at and all also the benefits just, that will, yeah, Just well a mention approved. of looking ahead, May 31st, I'm doing this show with a wonderful singer from upstate New York. So it'll be her traditional songs from her grandmother, and I'm doing all traditional Ontario songs. So it's Ballads Across the Border, May 31st at the Rosemount Hall. So keep that in mind. Maura Volante. Would we like to have Maura sing a couple of songs here? Yes, yeah. we would. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to do is um, uh, one I did on the album, and it has the words safe and sound in it. It's a song about young men going off to, uh, from Glengarry County, this is where this was collected, to uh, the California Gold Rush. And it's got a very easy chorus. Hey, arise and come along. Oh, arise and come along. Rise, arise and come along. And bid farewell to Canada. So I expect you all to be singing on that. <laughs> hey, arise and come along. Oh, arise and come along. Rise, arise and come along. And bid farewell to Canada. There you're getting it. Hey, arise and come along. Oh, arise and come along. Rise, arise and come along. And bid farewell to Canada. The day is fine, the wind is fair, and it's swift flows the tide the boat is sailing o'er the main to bring me far from Canada hey arise and come along oh arise and come along rise arise and come along and bid farewell to Canada here I lie all alone on the California shore the, and the last that I adore she mourns alone in Canada hey arise and come along oh arise and come along Rise, arise, and come along, and bid farewell to Canada. Tell that handsome girl of mine, if I return before I die, I will drive her in great style along the roads of Canada. Hey, arise, and come along. Oh, arise and come along, rise, arise and come along, and bid farewell to Canada. In Quebec, that noble town, we arrived here safe and sound, and in the tavern we'll sit down and drink a health to Canada. Hey, arise and come along, oh, arise and come along, rise, arise and come along, and bid farewell to Canada. One more time. Hey, arise and come along, oh, arise and come along, rise, arise and come along, and bid farewell to Canada.
And if you get the album, you get to hear Alexis McIsaac and Callum McKenzie play on that one. I got them on that, that fiddle and piano duo. Um, I've got the album with me, by the way, if anybody wants it. Now, most of the songs I do are in English, but we do live in Ottawa, right across the border from, right across the provincial border from Quebec, and with lots of people in this uh, city that speak French. I do like to do some songs in French as well. This is a Ke uh, Quebecois traditional folk song. Many of you will recognize the story in it. The words are à la Clara Fontaine, but that set of words has been put to many, many tunes. And this is one of my favorites. It's called Fond et le Bois. So it's got a chorus as well. Fond et le Bois, chauffe le four, dorme la belle, il n'est point jour. So you can sing on that too. À la claire fontaine, m'en allant promener, j'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que je m'y suis fait baigner. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. J'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que je m'y suis baigné. Sous les feuilles d'un chêne, je me suis fait sécher. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. Sous les feuilles d'un chêne, je me suis fait sécher. Sur la plus haute branche, le rossignol chantait. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. Sur la plus haute branche, le rossignol chantait. Chante, rossignol, chante, toi qui as le cœur gai. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. Chante, rossignol, chante, toi qui as le cœur gai. Tu as le cœur à rire, moi je l'ai à pleurer. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, donne-moi la belle, il n'est point jour. Tu as le cœur à rire, moi je l'ai à pleurer. J'ai perdu ma maîtresse. Sans avoir mérité, fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. J'ai perdu ma maîtresse sans l'avoir mérité pour un bouquet de roses que je lui refusais. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. Pour un bouquet de roses que je lui refusais, je voudrais que la rose tu encore au rosier. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, Dormez la belle, il n'est point jour. Je voudrais que la rose fût encore au rosier. Et moi et ma maîtresse sont dans les mêmes amitiés. Fendez le bois, chauffez le four, dormez la belle. Thank you.
That's Maura Valente, everybody. Way to go, Maura. And yeah, we'll look up the information on that course coming up at Alcorn Music starting on April the 8th. And uh, six much. weeks, I believe. Yeah. And uh, what a fantastic opportunity. Good way to learn to sing in the car. I sing in the car <laughs> a lot, but I would never <laughs> sing up front here in front of you guys. You would all <laughs> run away screaming. But uh, lucky for us, our next guest has uh, uh, much talent and a uh, beautiful voice as well. Angela Saini is here today. Angela uh, comes to us from, are you in Toronto these days? In Toronto, yeah. yeah, and you happen to be in Ottawa this weekend, so. Playing with Christine St. Pierre. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Christine, that was great, and uh, at, the, at the turning point. Yeah, right? we had yeah, a great show. Yeah. We're in Kingston tonight at the Music Eat oh. Cafe. We're doing it all again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, That's if you're amazing. listening from Kingston, head over. Where is that Music one? Music Cafe. Okay, yeah. there great we go. Venue. You can catch Angela Saini. You've been into the station at CKCU before. Yes, nice great. Great to again, see you. Angela. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. And you're going to be our final guest here on Canadian Spaces. And don't forget to stay tuned for Pat Moore hosting the Back 40 yeah. right after this. <laughs> <laughs> there she don't, goes. She's don't touch your <laughs> dial if you're if you're at home listening. So, Angela, um, tell me a little bit about what your uh, have you got a new release uh, upcoming? I know you have a new release. So I do have else? a new. I'm going to play maybe my newest single, but I'm in the studio right now with a brand new, uh, oh. brand new song I wrote mm. down in Nashville when I was there just last month. So Very nice. stay tuned for that. But um, I'm going to play that one next time I come, maybe. Okay. But yeah, say is my latest single, other than my Christmas song I released that's going to be in a Hallmark movie next so, year. So so yet, yeah. yet another one of our friends who was running away to Nashville. Like we had a song, Sean Tavernier is gone now, but he, we had a, he had a song about all his friends going to Nashville. So it's kind of funny. So all far right. to visit, but it is a great place. A lot of Cana Canadians down there. Lots it's true. Great yeah. songwriting town, that's for Amazing. sure. Yeah. So, all right. I think should we give it up for Angela Saini? Yeah, yes. Angela, yeah. thanks thank for so being much. here. Yay. And thank you again to CKCU for all the support over these years. You know, it's been a while since I've been in uh, Ottawa, but it's very nice to be back. Good, got it there. Awesome. Um, thanks for the support. You're going to hear a song you might have heard earlier this week uh, on the station. Uh, this is a song, my newest single, as we just talked about. It's a song all about feeling uh, to be your authentic self and be honest. And sometimes you have something you need to say. You don't know how the words are going to land because it could go bad or it could, be, it could go well. But um, you have to just live life authentically and say the words you need to say. So this song is all about that, and it's called Say sounds like this. Got nothing to say. Every vowel's gone. So I'm going in my A. Curtains are drawn. I can't seem to let my words go. Syllables in a sinkhole. Let them drop like leaves. Say, let the words fall down like rain. Let the words fall down like rain. Say, let them all fall where they may. Let them all fall where they may. world with only so many breaths holding each one deep in my chest my teeth and tongue are trapped behind the fear of combat gotta set them free Like rain, let the words fall down like rain. Say, let them all fall where they may, let them all fall where they may. The truth falls without a parachute. If I can just start to let the words flow. They just might catch the wind and so Let the words fall down like rain. Let the words fall down like rain. Say, let them all fall where they may. Let them all 
down like rain. Say, let them all fall where they may. Let them all fall where they, where they may. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you again for having me. I'm Angela Saney and uh, hope to be back soon. I don't have anything to promote here in Ottawa. I just played here, but um, thank you again for having me. I'm going to play you a song. Um, I'm originally from Calgary, Alberta, a little bit about me. I don't, I'm not from Toronto, but that's where I live now. But um, I'm not used to these ice storms. So I feel like it's safe to talk about ice storms now. We're in the, you know, happy spring, everybody. And um, this next song you might have heard a um, few years ago on um, CBC and some other places, but maybe on uh, the Pop Adult Station on Stingray, it's still on there, so you might have heard it in your local Dollarama or LCBO or uh, Canadian Tire. And um, this song was born out of one of those ice storms. You know, I'm a prairie girl, so I'm used to seeing the sun every day, and the winters can be a bit down for me, and I hadn't seen the sun in a while, and we had, it was the ice storm, and I'm sure it was here the same in Ottawa, because I know you guys get them too. It was the one where the power went out at Christmas time. If you remember, it was like years back now, but I was living in Toronto, and the last straw was my tour van died. And in the depths of my despair, this song came out. And uh, this is a little bit of my own mantra in life, which is to live on the bright side. So, you know, happy spring, everybody. Um, great way to leave off you know this great programming here it is radio so i'd normally do like a uh, a sing-along but we'll do our best and try to capture everyone singing so please sing as loud as you can you'll know where to sing um just to keep our spirits high as we move into a new season so thank you so much this one's called living on the bright side I've never owned a poncho Whenever it rains I only see a rainbow Splashing through the puddles Knowing that's how green grass grows Only sun comes through my window It's cold and the car won't start Must be a great day for a walk I'm living on the bright side I'm living on the bright side state of mind When a bulb burns out I see Even in the dark it feels sunny to me Skipping in the shadows every corner holds beauty There is always light if you look closely. My train home is three hours late. Must be time for another piece of cake. I like chocolate.
your turn. I'm living on the bright side. I can't hear. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy spring. I'm Angela Saney. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Angela Saney. <laughs> and just before the show comes to an end, I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank, big thank you to Nick Field for doing such an awesome job on the sound here yes. today. Thank you so much, Nick. And to Nathaniel Newton here, who's streaming everything out, and the video will be available later. <laughs> Also to Carol Muskalak, who's synchronizing. She's here and synchronizing with the station. With Gord Peeling, who's there yes. Thank you, holding Gord, things down at the station. The Thank you, Gord. The station, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Anne-Marie Bruger, hasn't right. this been fun? It's been a lot of fun. We're, uh, Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We're just, great. We're just up the street at the Mayfair Theater next Saturday morning. We're broadcasting the show live from the Mayfair. Come by, have some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around, and afterwards, after the show, Andrea Ramolo from Toronto will be showing her film at the Mayfair. So uh, <laughs> this is all coming up next week. And in the meantime, as you know, there are lots of shows to go to all over town, including right here at Irene. <laughs> lots of shows at Irene. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> yeah, way to go, everybody. We're just, we're look, yeah. And just so you know, okay, we're off the air, but we are, CKCU is entering year 50 on November 14th at midnight. Year 50. So we're gearing up for some big celebrations. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>